Hello there, buds. I just wanted to check in. Sitting on top of a mountain here with my best boy, Bucko. Just out here for our little morning hike stroll. He's gonna take a dip in the pond here. I just wanted to check in and say hi and say thank you very much for 5,000 subscribers to this stupid little channel I started about a year ago. I'm kind of shocked that it grew that fast, but uh, I guess that's a good thing. Uh, I've met a lot of pretty nice people around the world, and I thank you all for your nice kind words and everything. And uh, most of all, I just uh, kind of started this channel just for fun to uh, see what was out there, because a lot of the things that I would watch uh, just, I don't know, everybody does everything different, every shop I ever worked at, everybody did everything different, and everybody was the right way. And everybody said, oh, that way is the wrong way, this way is the right way, then the next guy said that the wrong way was the right way. So, I just love to share different things that I know, and then also people sharing the things that they know. And in this past year, I know that my, personally my woodworking and finishing has improved just from you know, the tips and tricks that you guys give me. So I really appreciate it. I mean, keep them coming. I love the comments. I love meeting the new people. If you haven't checked me out on Facebook, just go over there, type in John Bear Woodworking there. Uh, I've gotten a lot of, you know, nice comments, uh, you know, messages from Yin's over there. So uh, yeah, just keep them coming. Let's all be friends. We're all in this together. We're all just learning, everybody's gonna make mistakes, and that's how you learn. I mean, nobody is an expert. I have yet to meet a woodworking or finishing expert, uh, even people that have done it for 30, 40, 50 years, you know, own businesses or whatever. You know, their, their right way is sometimes the wrong way, and you get stuck in your own ideas, thinking something's the right way and everything, but. You know, just the stupid little tip that, you know, I mean, just even that last video I made for making that uh, seat on the upholstered chair, I I shouldn't have done it that way. That was really dumb. Even watching it now, I cringe just watching how I measured it. I mean, I could have done it in such an easier way. If you check, uh, I pinned the comment the one guy left me about just, you know, how to cut it a little bit easier, but just stuff like that. I mean, you know, in the moment, you don't really think of things and I tend to overthink a lot of things in my work and in, and in life, so it's just nice to, uh, yeah, just always got to stay grounded, stay humble, and uh, I just really appreciate uh, you guys just helping me out, and I hope I can help you out. So I'm just going to leave you here now, and we, uh, we'll just watch Bucko take a run around this beautiful area we are in, this all behind me, this whole area for acres and miles used to be all strip mine for coal and uh well, maybe 10 years ago or so they stopped and now it's like a state game land and they're bringing it all back to natural wildlife and it's a beautiful area i've seen coyote out here a lot of deer uh i know there's bear out here I haven't I haven't seen one yet bucko he's way over there it's just endless fields and you know these beautiful little ponds that are full like you know bass and sunfish every kind of fish you can imagine here he comes hey buddy you joining <laughs> so anyways yeah they're making it just beautiful out here now and this is where I spend a lot of my time when I'm not doing any kind of work we just come up here it's always like 10 degrees cooler up here on the mountain Bucko loves it up here uh, this is where me and my friends come to get away from it all. It's just beautiful views, beautiful scenery and animals. I mean, I saw this massive crane the other day. Saw this, the fattest porcupine I've ever seen in my life. I hope Bucko doesn't find him. But anyways, sorry for rambling on. Thank you all again. Check me out on Facebook and if you can find me on Instagram, John P. Bear. I post some of my work on there mostly dogs and you know some of the things that I do in life I cook a lot too so I might start a cooking channel here one of these days because I like to come up with some pretty stupid ideas I used to be a food photographer for uh, an Italian food company so I learned a lot about food and cooking from them 
and uh, maybe I can pass some of that on to you. But anyways, let's go watch Bucko run now. Everybody stay safe out there and uh, stay healthy, stay strong, stay, uh, stay happy, and just stay humble and just open up that mind to new things. So uh, thanks for watching. And uh, maybe when I hit 10,000 and then uh, I can pick a random person, I'll send you something special. Something I made or something, maybe some bucko fur <laughs> in a little box. But anyways, let's check out Buck now. Thanks for watching. And uh, we'll see you again. What are you doing up there? Are you king of the castle? Are you king of the castle, buddy? Are you getting tired already? Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Where are you going? Where are you going? You gonna go see the fishies? Are you gonna go for a swim? Are you gonna show everybody how you can swim, bud? Here. Here. Where is it? The other day I threw a rock out to the middle there and he swam the whole way out. He's never swam before in his life and he swam the whole way out there. Almost gave me a heart attack. So I was afraid he was gonna drown. I was gonna have to jump in and save him. But he can also swim as well as he can run. So it's a real good boy, how fuck. something touch your foot there's some fish right there buck they might touch your foot Wild strawberries, buds. Those will be good, good, good. <laughs> All right, Buck. I'm just say bye. Wave bye. Wave bye.
Are you gonna wave bye or say bye? I guess you really don't talk in real life. <laughs> say bye, buds. Bye, buds. Time to go home. Forgot one thing, Bears, Buds, Battlestar Galactica.